2nd of June, oh God. Father, we stand up and defend our country. We stand up, oh God, and defend our people. We stand up and, and, and represent the youth in this country. Father, Lord, we come before you that though our enemies may be many, we come, oh God, in your name. We pray that you protect us and shield us, shield our families, shield our friends, and every other young person yes, across Lord. the country that is standing up against injustice. Mm. Father, Lord, we believe that your angels are with us in solidarity. Yes. And, oh God, your servants across the world are with us in solidarity. We pray that you go before us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, we have decided to protest from the bush. We are protesting from the bush because the streets in our own country have become so dangerous for the people of this same country. The streets have become so dangerous for young people to walk and protest. The streets of Lusaka, the streets of Zambia have become so dangerous for the citizens of Zambia to do their walking. It's like the young people of this country have become lesser human beings because they do not agree or do not support certain actions and decisions that have been taken by the government. In their bids to express themselves, we've been reduced to lesser human beings in our own country. We've been called names, we've been called stupid, we've been called disgruntled, we've been called a number of things. Because we wanted to express ourselves, we've been told that our bones will be broken. We've been told that we'll be met with the new equipment that was acquired by the police. We've refused to be scared. We've refused to be intimidated by those that we've given power to govern and manage our resources and our affairs. We are here because we've refused to be cowards. We've refused to give up on a country that we love. We have refused as young people to give up on Mother Zambia. What we are saying and what we are asking for is not mercy. We are not asking for pity. We are asking for our voices to be heard. Just because we are young people doesn't mean that we are stupid. That's just because we are stu we were young people doesn't mean that we have nothing to say. So we as young people have gathered here because we have gathered in the bush because we are in danger. Lusaka streets are not safe for its own people, for the young people. We are tired. We don't want to, be to become cadres for us to have businesses, for us to get jobs. We don't want to become cadres. We want to speak, but they are threatening us. So we've resorted to coming in the bush to express ourselves and obviously interact with nature and our ancestors who led their lives for this country. 
we are appealing to every young person there who wants to be part of this protest not to go in the streets. Let the police do the protesting for us. Young person, put on your black attire and do a live broadcast from wherever you are. Protest from your backyard, protest from your bedroom, for this is your voice. No one is allowed to take your voice. No matter how powerful they are, you are a full human being with power to speak and you shall be heard. Bayuthi! Yes! Bayuthi! Yes! When they go low, we go high. When they go low, we, we go, go high. high. They carry bullets, machetes, weapons, and all we carry is hope and our voices that Zambia will be heard and the youths of this country want to be heard. When you feel like a foreigner in your own country, you resort to going to the bush or in your backyard or in your bedroom for you to have a protest and speak out. Carry that placard right now, lift it up, put up a message that they should hear you. You want to be heard. Because we are in the bush, this is our dedication. Munshiku sha cha 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 Wale la la mumpanga Mumpanga Wale la la pansoka Pansoka Wati tuli na mesha mumpanga Ayayaya Wati tuli na mesha mumpanga Munshiku sha cha 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 so comrades let's take our seats let's take our seats we don't have seats comrades we have to take our rocks let's sit on our rocks let's sit on our rocks good afternoon youth yes good afternoon everybody good afternoon i live in one of the richest countries in the world we have gold we have copper, we have emeralds, and we have 18 million wonderful people. Each one of them with 206 bonds. And every one of these bonds have been threatened to be broken by lawmakers. I live in a country where if I'm bootlicking, I'm allowed to do it. If I'm bootlicking, I can do anything I want. But if I ask questions, can we share the mineral wealth of Zambia? I am an anarchist. When I ask questions, can we have freedom of speech? I have been paid. If we have been paid, surely could we be in the bush? Could we be in the bush? No. No, no, we couldn't be in the bush. If I ask for a real fight of corruption, I'm called names. If I just say something, I'm disgruntled. I say today, we need to put our country first. We need our leaders to hear us because our cry is for this nation to be truly free for everyone, regardless of where they were, green, red, purple, yellow, or polka dot. I say to every youth, stay in your home today. Do not go on the streets because you have no guns. Do not go on the streets because your bones are precious. Your skeleton is precious. It's the only structure you have to survive. And to all of you out there, I say to you, we are a nation of values and norms, culture, and above all, a great future. We shall not insult anyone, but by God Almighty, nobody should insult us for having our own freedom. If I was in the compound, I would just say, You think at a lipo, Osavani Bangwe. You think at a lipo, Osavani Bangwe. You Ladies, ladies, gender equality, gender equality. Um, 
Uh, unfortunately, in our own country, it's only when you hide, when you understand your freedom. We have been put in a place where, where there is nobody, that is where freedom is, and yet you need other human beings to operate, for we are social beings. In some Bufia to Quete, Shakwikara, Ukuri Abo, Abakwete, Fintu, Ofotet to Kwanishi, Ngemfuti, Abakwete of Tira State Machinery, Abakwete Imiotoka, Esha, if we two Abasuminisha, Ukuba Nasho, Mueva Nava Zambia, Tapari Fimbio for Tuakwata, Panotuishire, Temuenso to Quete. Effort to learn and the fear of everybody. The party team be a chop at the pair. It's a cup of pant to fill and save a poker. Pamela and walk over to my river soon. Minisha, who are moody she? Who are moody she? She I shall have a bomb. But not to remember. Consul come within a week. Women in a bonce. Who wants so quiet? I'm a matuzion to have one fair for social media. Cavier near and then in a bow avant to Gavena bana kwa nisho kutu social media of tabale fwa tu landiri na ifuere rotu araya po tu araba landisha inshira social media kwenye ramu na ba tu isariwa so tu lembo kwa basi tunga bonfia ama amashi wia ba fia shiwe suare bonfia vanene chisungu tete tundu chesu bati chari tu sanga bati nde lomba imwe nemo na wazambia nemo kashana ichi tete chintu ichi moneka bati nde miromba tieni tu landi. I cannot care so that the case are given there. I can no longer care. Sorry, I'll say for pen. I'm a picture. You know, I don't mean I can and I don't know. Come up platform. Zap son of son to attach a son. You think our elder, we need your guidance. Vala Jumbo, you think Vala Jumbo, you think Vala Jumbo, you think Vala Jumbo, you think. Vajaela kuvuta yuthi Vala jombo yuthi Kuvuta yuthi Vala jombo yuthi You are seeing a big youth here yes. Joining the young people In such a very very strange atmosphere Today is a black Monday for Zambia Today is a Monday where this group of people behind me has saved so many lives, has saved so many young people's bonds because somebody has been geared to break young people. Zambia is one of the richest countries on the African continent. But it's a shame to see that our country is being mismanaged to a point where youth are now special disgruntled people. There is no employment for the youth, yet somebody came into office on the premise of creating jobs for the people, reducing taxes, and putting money in people's pockets. My question is, where are the jobs? Where is the money? Or maybe we don't have pockets. I have four pockets. They don't have money. Where is the low tax for the people? So when young people speak, they do not want confrontation with the government. And that is why we have come here in a bush, because we want to avoid the land cruisers and the patrol vehicles. We, we have nothing. We are vulnerable. And we ask every Zambian to see who is more concerned about their country. Where is the priority for our police? Where is the priority for our government? If you have eyes, open them and see. If you have ears, you will hear. Fire! Yeah. Viva you see! Viva! Viva you see! Viva! Viva you see kumaya ndoko, tuwawesha pona kamiru kwebati. Ponsi opoli, wula plakad, wule chipepa langechi, ule mbe po, if you have your own fire, paku tiba kumfwe. Pantu unga wale tinga utuwalanda tabale umfwa. Tuwaya kwa tupangi appointment, Ba tu kopa ma picture yo ba be party yo ba ishile kuri conciliation yo tu ishile kuri be mutumfwe ko so tu refu aba tumfwe lembe ni po etiyo mu refu aya bonfwe ero lelo uli onse uli tutamba share this live feed share 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 
Baka watu mwane, watu mfwe. Ngata watu mfwe. Na next month, mjulai, watu wa njitu, kumana na kuti. Until we are ahead, every month on the 22nd, we shall be convening like this to make sure that we are ahead. So, wemu yuthi, konso kori, rise up right now. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. Again. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. What you say now? Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. Get up, stand up. I said, don't give up the fight. I'm disgruntled. I am naked. I don't know anything about governance. In 2016, I stood on a queue for three hours and I casted my vote. And today, I don't know anything about governance. And I was told that I can't protest. We asked them, can we take to the streets? Can we go and stand outside parliaments, carrying our placards? We haven't broken anything here. We haven't done anything wrong. They told us there's no manpower. There are no police officers that are enough to go and man your protest. Damn. Today in the morning, they woke up people's fathers at five in the morning, very cold, deployed them out there to go and stand against the young people. The young people who are saying enough is enough. We are tired. We are hungry. One vehicle by a minister can build 200 bohos. One vehicle by a minister can build 200 bohos in Mangango. It can build 200 bohos in Lufunsa. And yet we are told you can't speak about those issues. A week ago, they gave a permit to their own to go and ask that they change our constitution. They gave them a permit. They gave them police escort, but they told us they can't man our protest. Animal we told market. them on the 22nd, we are going ahead. We sat down and reflected upon the past. We said the struggle has been won with strategy. We are dealing with a system that is intellectually bankrupt. And we need all the young people to think, use their brains, think and think and think. When we take away violence for them, from them, they have nothing. And that's why even up to this hour, they are afraid of you. The reason why they have deployed in their thousands is because they are afraid of you. Take away their weapons. Take away their guns. Take away their tools. What do they have? Nothing. What do they have? Nothing. You have the power. They are gathered there. If you are seated in your office right now as a young person, go outside. Look at them. Know in your heart that they are outside there with their guns because of you. It is not because of them. They are there because of they are afraid of the young people. We will gather in the bush. We will gather in our gardens. We will gather in our backyards. We will gather as many times as we can until they allow us and they hear us and they respond to our cause and they stop looting our resources. I am disgruntled. <laughs> We come in peace. A moment of silence for Vespas Shumujra, Frank Mugala, and all the victims that we've lost to a broken system. Hopefully, there won't be a moment of silence for Wezi because she decided that silence is consent. Hopefully, there won't be a moment of silence for everyone that you are seeing here today. Hopefully, my mother will not have to cry the same way that Vespas' mother is crying today. Hopefully, my mother will not cry the same way that Frank Mugala's mother is crying today. And who is listening to their cries? If my life matters, if the life of the people that are leading us matters, if we can have masks and hand sanitizer because we want to stay healthy and alive. What about Frank, Vespas, Ivan Simusa, and every victim whose death we've ignored? What about their lives? They didn't even get to see coronavirus. I'm not wearing a mask today. 
I'm not sanitizing my hands. I am hurt that my career is threatened by the courage to speak. So I, I hold this placard, I come in peace. We are saving people's lives today. We told them do not go to the streets because we know what they've done before can be done again. The same thing that they did to Vespas, they can do again. Mm. The tear gas canisters to unrioting shame, students. Shame, yeah. shame, shame. Shame. Can't A stray bullet shame. to an unarmed 13 year old boy. It doesn't take much for someone to be gunned down like a common thief or criminal. It doesn't take much. All it takes is working for your rights and freedoms. So please do not accuse us for trying to cause unrest. Do not accuse us of, for trying to cause anarchy, confusion or treason. We are just here because we are hurt that these, our fellow youths are dying at the highest learning institutions of our country. Our fellow youths are dying at Chazanga, the school. Who would have ever thought? And nothing has been done. Nobody has even addressed the youth. We've watched our own being killed and nobody's addressing us about that. Where are our leaders? Talk to me about Frank. Talk to me about Vespers. What went wrong? What can we do right as the youth to protect us from these things? What can we do right to protect everyone from joining this list? Disgusting. Who gassed us? We are yet to know. to know. We to know. The in, the, the, we've seen how equipped and capable the police are today. They are in the streets right now. We've seen that they are able to do that. But why didn't they do that to the gassers? I hope that this moment will not land me on this list. Rest in peace, Vespas. Rest in peace, Frank. Rest in peace, man. Viva youth! Viva! Viva youth! Viva! This is a country of laws. Our country has been founded on the fundamentals of the Constitution. Ideals and ideas that are shared by us all. We cannot subject our country to mere politics. We cannot let politics control who gathers and who doesn't. We cannot let politics determine who has the freedom of expression and who doesn't. Young people, wherever you are, you have a future to defend. The lawlessness now that we're experiencing, the breach of the constitution, the violation of human rights, the poverty, the deepening inequality in our country is the future of those that are leading us today. This is their future. This is not your future. This is not my future. We are now constructing a future for ourselves. We are living in their future. That's why they are okay with it. They are okay with police brutality because they have arrived. This is their future. They are okay with people waking up at zero three hours to fetch water at some communal tap because this is their future. They are okay having a 13 years old walking 15 kilometers to go to school. This is their future. They are okay with contracting debts at the expense of us that are going to repay it. This is their future. But you and I have a future to safeguard. We have a future to defend. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter whether you are a teacher, whether you are a lawyer, an accountant, an artist, a sculptor. It doesn't matter who you are, a preacher of the word, an imam. Whatever you are, if you are a young person, stand up and defend your future. Otherwise, you'll have nothing else to defend. Viva youth! Viva! Viva, Viva youth! Viva! Viva youth! Viva! Viva. Um, like uh, Michael said, he was asking, where is money in our pockets? Do you know the reason why we don't have money in our pockets? Because we are too naked. Therefore, we come and ask, give, a, give us jobs so that we can buy clothes. Viva youth! Viva! Viva youth, viva! Viva! Today is a crime when you want to speak. Today is a crime 
when wa you, you want to talk about corruption. In our country, Mother Zambia, the country that we love, we only, one, we only have one Zambia. Mm. The Zambia that Ali Mwangankumbla fought for. Mm. The Zambia that Kaunda fought for. Mama Chika Moneka fought for. Today, it's a crime when you talk about Mukula. Zambia is rich only to those people who are in government. Mm. When young people are suffering, Vamayo Kwach Sunka Bale Chula, Vamayo Kwach Mese Bale Chula, Imi Sebo, Oshova to Lai Dat Vaka Great Data Vagre Dana de Loyo, Vali Sungile Godi, Vaka Puepe, Vali Sungile Mukula, Vaka Puepe, Vali Sungile Fionse, Le Lo, Fia Pero Kuminue, Yama Foreigners. When you try to speak, Kulara Mumpanga, when you try to speak, Kuchinjama lodges or Mikuita too. Because you are being threatened by the so called police officers. Because they are being pushed by politicians. Where are we going to run to? Today I'm speaking in the bush. In my own country. In my own country. Where are we going? I, I cry sometimes. I cry sometimes. Because Zambia belongs to Zambians. Zambia belongs to 18 million people not only those who are in government. Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Oh my God. Viva you fever. Viva. Ubuntungwa Twa ipoka Mutalo Tesu Ija Zambia Viva youth! Viva! And 55 years of independence, 55 years of independence, 55 years of independence, and yet I'm very afraid to speak in my own country. 55 years of independence and people are still suffering and yet Zambia is a very rich country. Do not respond to me with threats, respond to us with actions. Respond to us with positive actions and not negative actions. Do not threaten us. Please hear us. Viva youth! Viva! Viva youth! Viva! Viva youth! Viva! 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 forever young. We are not going to be forever young. We have to pass on. And there must be those ones who should come and get it from us. So, Frank, we are a people who are governed by laws. Respect the law of law. We are in the jungle today. Some of us we have spent nights here in the jungle. Just because we are told to say, shut up, don't speak, shame. Whenever you want to speak, you are told to say, don't speak. But others have got that freedom of expression. And then, Mzando Chore wa Mabonzo. Ndiye ba ntuwa mene tiche tekera kuti ndiye malida zivatu. Ma ideas, ya mashitua exchange na mafelo ideas, not violence. Stephen Avaurent, we come in peace. Siko. Siko. 
When we speak, they say we are just being sponsored. Mm. Oh yes, we are being sponsored by our poverty. Yes. So by you see, first of all, I'd like to address the young people out there. Young people that are watching us, young people that are thinking why. As a young person, you must ask yourself, why? Why do we find ourselves where we are as a country? As my colleagues have said, young person, this is not your future. Young person, this is not your future. The same people that we've empowered, the same people that are leading us now, we are once upon a time sent to school and sponsored by the government. They went to freeze, well, they went to school for free. From grade one to university, the government was able to empower them with an education for free. For you and I, young person, we've not received that favor from the government yet. Our brothers and sisters at the University of Zambia that went to school this year will have to feed themselves. They've been told that Takudiyama Miyama buzzard is this time around. But we have money to build for eight our houses and we don't even know who the owner is. We have money to buy 42 fire trucks. We don't even know. We, but just, we still can't feed our students. The Ngongoli that we are getting every single month, and if you get the, how, how, is it every hour that we are getting Ngongoli now? The Ngongoli that we keep getting will be paid by you and your children. If you are not educated today, if your education is not guaranteed today, how will you be able to pay that debt? By youth, especially mweba de umfabuino, especially mweba de jana venda, you are sacrificing a future for yourself, you are sacrificing a future for the rest of your family. Because your comfort today is a sacrifice, it's taking away your future. What you are sacrificing today, what you are enjoying today is being subtracted from your own future. Ask yourself, what are you doing to ensure a better future for your country? If you feel your own future, your personal future is better than the future of this country, think again. Because you cannot be, you cannot be the richest man in a very poor country. Because even your riches would mean nothing. We don't have to give examples for Chan Chan. Just next door there, we had people that were billionaires and spent billions to buy bread. Is that where you want to get to as a young person? What you are tolerating now, what you are allowing now, is becoming normal. They will be telling you, this is how things have been done. This is how it is. Young person, say no to rubbish now. Say no to things that you do not agree with now. This is the time to say no to that thing. If you allow that to happen, if you allow capitalism to go on, if you allow police brutality to go on, if you allow politicians to, to go on, it shall be no more tomorrow. I'll get you, I'll, I'll attract your attention to Ian Mutambo, a very intelligent and hardworking young man who died bus here power to trans, transporting the COVID-19 samples. Mm. Who knew that one a, a Zambian and a very innocent civil servant would die on the road doing his job? When we had received a lot of lots and lots of monies for the same program of COVID-19, but we a young a young life was lost. If you and I had demanded for accountability earlier, if you and I had demanded had demanded for better standards of transportation, that young life would have been saved. Young person, I ask you. Your comfort today is a subtraction to your own future. Act now. Refuse, refuse corruption now. Refuse police brutality before it is on your door tomorrow. Refuse it now. Refuse it now. I'm also appealing to our adults, our elders. You've had you and you've seen the best days of this country. You've seen the best days of this country. You've enjoyed the best parts of this country. Why are you going to resign and sit back and watch the, this country go to the, to the gutter whilst you're watching? What is it that you're scared to lose that you don't even have? What is it that you're scared to lose that your children will never have? You went to school sponsored by the government. Why can't you use that same education to preserve the future for your own children? You went to, you got your jobs immediately from school. Mm. Why are you not scared? Why are you not bothered that your children will have to suffer with you even after they've graduated? Why are you not bothered that the, the, the millions of young people do not have jobs today? Why do you not care? What is it that you're scared to lose that we don't know about? Because we know some of you, your businesses are not even businesses because it's just a month of COVID-19, your, your business is gone. What are you scared to lose? 
that you are prepared, prepared to lose the country, you're prepared to lose your child's future for you just to hold that business? What is it that you're scared to, lo to lose that is so bigger than the, the country? I ask you big people, I ask you elders, I ask you Mwema Fiash, stand up now. Join these young people. And this is not the last. This is just the start of so many protests and so many engagements that we are starting as a young people. We are not going to rest. Yes. We are not stopping. We will not be intimidated. Yes, I know yes. some of us will be arrested. Some of us will be detained. But you know what? We are bigger than our bodies. Yes. We will be detained and still when we come out, we still do this again. We will be shot at, we will die, and still in our death, we will still rise and say, Zambia is our land and Zambia deserves better and better is yes. possible. We are not stupid. We are young but not stupid. Don't you underestimate our power to think? Don't you underestimate our power to reason? This is our country. Our commitment is to the country, not to a political party, not to an individual. We are here because we love this country and we are going all the way for this country. Zambia deserves a fight. And we are ready to give it for this country. We are not going to surrender it to anyone. No, but no single individual should be allowed so much power to, manu to manipulate our freedoms. No single power, no single individual or political party will be allowed to have so much power over our lives. No single power, no single individual no, will be allowed. No, no, no. Zambia belongs to everyone. All of, of us. us. Zambia belongs to everyone. All of us. Every institution, every individual must be checked. If you want absolute power, go to your grave. That's where you have so much absolute power. Here will be checked. We are being checked and you have to be checked. No single individual, I repeat, no single individual will be given all the power over everything. Not even the president, not even the ministers. Everyone must be answerable. The decisions that you are making in the name of the people will have to be questioned. We are standing up now and will continue remaining standing. We'll remain standing because this is our country and we care and love this country. Amen. Bariuthi. Amaka. Bury us all you want. Bury our voices. But we are like seeds. We will multiply and germinate. Other youths are coming behind us. Bury us today, but they will multiply and they will come and they will speak out because the anguish that we feel is the anguish that they feel. I'm asking my question today. Where is my teacher? You told me that education is the key to success. But where I am today, they are telling me that Kadarism is the key to success because only the Kadars are getting the contracts and the jobs. What a shame. Amaka. Mwishiwi. Amaka. Mwishiwi. Amaka. Mwishiwi. In putting Amaka Mwishiwi, we are standing up for Zambia and we stand and sing proudly. Stand and sing of Zambia. Proud and free, land of work and joy in unity, victors in the struggle for the right, we won freedom's fight. is our own motherland, fashioned with and blessed by God's good hand. Let us all 
joined us in this broadcast. The protest here in the bush ends now, but in your heart it needs to burn louder. This fight is not a fight for one of these people here or anybody of us who might not be with us today, might be in a cell somewhere or anything like that. This is a fight for the freedom of Zambia so that your child can find a better future. My child can find a better future. They can lock one of us down, but they can't lock 18 million people. So wherever you are, take a post, go live, do whatever you say, say something on there. Black image, Black Monday. Black, do not insult anyone. We will not fight them with bullets and guns, stones, sticks, and them wanting to break our bones. We'll fight with peace. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this great nation of Zambia. We stand trying to recap the little freedom we still have to express ourselves, to march in dignity even though our sanity has been taken away. Lord, we pray for our leaders. Grant them wisdom. Grant them eyes that will open and give them the hearts and the courage and the integrity to do the right things mm. for the whole nation, not just for the select few. May the laws of this nation be adjudicated jurisdictionally to everybody equally in justice and peace for all Zambians. We speak a blessing for everybody that has prayed for us, that is praying out there in the name of Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. 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 We'll see you on the 22nd of July in some bush somewhere. God bless you. It may be on the streets.